Greetings, Earthlings. Uh, we're going to shoot a little video here about how to service a quick hitch system on a BCS tractor. So this is a nice old BCS A53. This one has a diesel engine on it. Um, with a kind of a rusty, nasty quick hitch on it, which is the way they get in the field, of course. They're not all shiny and new like you see in some of our videos. Um, so common questions we get are why my quick hitch doesn't work. And you can have a variety of things going on. The most common problem is that people will either uh, try to force the lever to go up and this lever will pop off the top of this pin, or they'll just be out mowing somewhere and get a bunch of brush snagged in this thing and jerk the handle off, in which case they come back to take the implement off and there's no lever there, so they have to put a vice grips on this pin and pull it up. Either way, the pin or the lever is off the top of the pin. Now, when this quick hitch comes new, it's got one of these red rubber grips stuck on it. Those usually last anywhere from 15 minutes to two years before they crack and fall off. They are available for $5 roughly, um, but I don't think they're worth much, and I'll get, that, I'll get to that later. Anyway, this, this handle is a piece of spring steel wire. And uh, usually, see, it, just, it comes off the top of the pin by just expanding it and then popping it off. There it is. There's the two ends of the wire that come together. They meet in the middle of the hole that's drilled sideways through the pin. A lot of times when people accidentally knock this off of there or they pop it off by trying to force the pin up, they think that they've broken this. Uh, they say, oh, how does this go back on? I need some kind of a pin to attach it. No, the lever is the pin. You just spread it open, expose this. Now, of course, if the implement isn't on that, this thing is going to fall down. So it's a little bit of a struggling match here because you've got to hold this up with one hand, spread this open with the other hand, and get it popped in. Actually, it's easier if you stick a block of wood in here to hold the pin up. So, there, I can do it that way. Spread it open. Okay, now we're back in business. Now I can stand it up, it pulls the pin up, lower it down, lowers the pin down. Now, the other thing that can happen was when this thing pops off out in the field, particularly when you're out there mowing and something catches it and this gets ripped off and you don't find it anymore, is the pin drops a little extra far and this washer gets lost. The washer just pulls up off the top of this pin. Now this pin is kind of messed up. It's got some burrs on the top of it which are keeping the washers from, from coming off which actually that's a good thing because you couldn't lose the washer on this one but typically the washer will just fall right off the top of this thing that is it can be easily be knocked off so if the washer is not there and you put the lever back on say you buy a new lever from us or you find your old lever and you go to put it back on but there's not a washer there what will happen is when you stand the lever up since it's the bottom of this lever that's pressing down on this surface in order to raise the pin Without the washer there, it won't pull the pin up far enough. So you'll stand this up and you can't get your implement on or off. If you got an implement on there, it's stuck on there because the pin is coming up just almost enough, but not quite enough. It's still in the hole of the male quick coupling a little bit. So that washer's got to be there. And uh, you know, that washer is certainly available from us here at Earth Tools. Um, uh, you probably won't find a washer quite this size at a hardware store because it's kind of a special metric size washer. If the washer isn't big enough on the outside, it'll drop into the little well on top of the quick coupling. Uh, if it's too big, uh, if it's too big on the outside, it really couldn't hurt anything. It'll just overlap a little bit, but it has to be the right size on the inside. You want it to be fairly tight on the pin so a lot of dirt can't go down in there. Now, Speaking of dirt, that's the other problem. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab a, uh, a file and just take the burrs off this thing. Either that or I'll just hit it with a hammer. Well, no, I should just take some burr. I'll take the burr off and grab a file real quick. So, dirt is another thing that is the enemy of quick couplings. I'm gonna file these burrs off so we can get this thing out of here. Somebody's been hitting this with a hammer. This is why this got these burrs on there. So somebody has uh, already tried the uh, sort of uh, extra persuasive method of getting this quick coupling to work. There we go. Okay, so even with the washer on there, dirt can get down through the hole between the washer and the pin and eventually get down into the quick hitch body uh, and start plugging things up. What makes this 
pin go down to lock into position in the male quick coupling, which is normally plugged in here, is gravity a little bit and mostly a spring. There is a spring here. When I push this up, it's popping back down because there's a spring pushing it back down. The spring is trapped between uh, a little washer that's down in here and the top of the pin itself. Now I'm going to have to file a little more in order to get this pin to drop all the way down through here because it should just drop right out the bottom at this point since there's nothing on the top. But somebody has really monkeyed with this thing. They've hit it with a hammer multiple times, and probably a big one, and they've kind of mushroomed out the metal at the top a little bit. But the fact is, once that, once the area where the spring is gets filled up with enough dirt, the pin cannot physically come up high enough anymore. That is, even with the lever and the washer on there and you go to stand it up, it's like it won't quite stand all the way up because it acts like the pin is hitting something. Well, what the pin is hitting is dirt. The, the, the area where the spring is has a bunch of dirt in it and the spring can't completely compress because there's just dirt filling up the space. So it's got to be cleaned out. And this might have to be done to a quick hitch, you know, every couple, three years. Uh, it Maybe every 10 or 20 years. It depends on your dirt conditions in your area. Uh, different types of soil uh, are finer and or, or more coarse, and they may or may not get in there faster or slower. There's the, there's the spring, and there's the pin. So you can see the spring pushes down on this little kind of step on the pin. And this one is pretty clean. Uh, this doesn't have a lot of dirt built up in there, but you can just put it in like that. Now, sometimes you've got an implement on the tractor, say a tiller plugged in here, so the male quick coupling is plugged in, and you can't get the pin up all the way because there's a bunch of dirt that's gone down in there. So you're trying to lift up the lever, it won't come all the way out. Of course, in that case, right, this is in here. You've got everything else assembled on top. You can't just drop the pin out the bottom like I just did to clean the spring because there's an implement plugged in here. And if you can't get the implement off, you can't access this hole. So in that case, you've got to access this thing from the top. Down in here, kind of under all this scum, there is a snap ring. And we can see the little tips of the snap ring here and here. And this is a snap ring pliers. It has two little, you can buy these at any auto parts store. These little tips insert into the holes in that snap ring and you compress it. And, whoops, that slipped off. But anyway, I should take a compressor and blow this crap out of here, but I didn't. Point is, you compress these ends of the snap ring. It keeps popping off because I've got too much dirt in it. twisting it around, but I'm not getting it to come out. It's partially out now. There it goes. There's the snap ring. And the snap ring holds down a washer, which we can now pry up out of there. Ooh, that's, pretty, that's in there pretty good. I don't think I want to pry with that snap ring plier, so I'm going to get a screwdriver. Maybe this file end will do it. Yeah, there we go. kind of walking that washer up out of there. Of course, I, if I got a pin in there, I'm not going to be doing this. But the thing is, when the pin and um, when the pin is still through here and you'd be trying to get this all out of here, the fact is once the snap ring is off, you could stick a pin like a, a, a pin punch through this hole so you could got something to pull up on and just jerk the whole pin and washer and spring assembly up out the top. Uh, again, they've kind of beat on this thing, so it's, it's, it's mashed this steel out a little bit and it's not allowing this washer to come up here very easily. But the washer will slide out the top and allow you to access this whole thing from the top. Uh, probably should have taken this apart before the video, but just to make it easier. But we, we, like, we believe in real life videos here at Earth Tools. So anyway, this thing will come out of here eventually. It's just, again, Whoever was beating on the top of this with a hammer got carried away and hit this housing a little bit, so they've mushroomed the steel over a little bit, making it difficult to get this washer out. So that's that's a no-no. You shouldn't have to use a hammer on a quick hitch. It just doesn't, doesn't really work. There it goes. Came up out of there. 
So, yeah, you could pull the whole thing out the top, clean all the components up, grease it with a little light grease, and reassemble it. So, now I'm going to put that all back in. It goes back in easier once you got it out of there the first time. Get this snap ring. And like I say, you won't have to take this snap ring and washer out the top if, you, if you're disassembling it to service it without the quick hitch mail stuck in here because then the paint will drop right out the bottom. It's much, much easier to service that way. So, get this back in. Make sure the snap ring is completely down in its groove. Push it down in there until it snaps. Yep, there we go. And reassemble this. I'd probably put a little more lube on this. I'm going to use some uh, fluid film here. That's one of my favorite lubes for a place like this. Fluid film is an excellent lubricant. Uh, it's lanolin based, so it's a little more environmentally friendly than, than your typical petroleum lubricants. And it's a very good moisture, uh, um, how shall I say, moisture uh, uh, displacer. This place is moisture very well and protects the metal very well. So here we are putting this back on. I'm going to snap that into place and voila, we've got a quick hitch which works great. They will stand up and go down either direction. If your quick hitch, if you've got your implement installed and your quick hitch handle is hard to pick up, it's because the implement is simply shifted to one side and it's got that pin in a bind. So don't force it. If you try to force it, the handle's just going to pop off the top. If it's coming up hard, just grab the handlebars and kind of wiggle things around and put, keep a little pressure on the pin at the same time until the pin comes up easily when, that, when the bind releases off the pin. Now, uh, talking about this red rubber grip I mentioned earlier, and I'm going to grab a rag over here to wipe some of this grease off my hand. Anyway, that red rubber grip, as I mentioned, is about five bucks. Uh, they don't last that long, and being rubber, they stretch. So if you've got a situation where you have to put a little extra pressure on the quick hitch lever to raise it up, this doesn't really hold this thing together firmly into the pin that much better than it does on its own. Um, so having this on there, I find, is just not terribly useful. Uh, what's a lot more useful, quite frankly, is duct tape. Uh, just, you know, if you run equipment and you don't own duct tape, you're you know, you're crazy. <laughs> this duct tape has its uses. Uh, this is what I do to my own quick hitches, and this is what I recommend that anybody do to their quick hitches. Just wrap a roll of duct tape around it. Because the duct tape, unlike this $5 red thing, is sticky, and it will not pull off, it will not get lost, and it has fiber in it, so it will keep these from stretching out. You can hardly get this thing to pop off here now unless you cut the, cut the duct tape. So now I've got a little more durable quick hitch here, which will work well in the future. Thanks for watching.